Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we will make Elastica by Zahadid Architects. First we make each boundary edges in Rhino using Rectangle. Duplicate by hold down Alt and drag. Make each curve in one plane by scaling in X direction with zero value. Next, we make each cross connection using a power line. Make sure you enable the center snapping option to snap to the center of each rectangle. Insert control point at the intersection of power lines. This will help us later to separate the power line at this point. Select these curves and explode. It will separate the power line into two different fragment. Now open Grasshopper and reference these curves using Curve Container. Add multi-pipe component and connect the curves to it. Now we can control the thickness of sub-D by connecting the number slider to node size and strut size. The next goal is to extract each naked edge, so convert this sub-D to mesh. Connect mesh component, it automatically extracts the control polygon of it. Here some edges have more than 4 segments, but we need to have it only 4. This will math to the rectangle that we drawn before, so add extra control point at end of each segment this will fix the problem. Reference these rectangle into Grasshopper. Next, extract naked edge by using component called Mesh Edge from Ngon. Here these edges are separate segments. Use join curves component. It automatically join the curves that connect to each other. Now the order of the list is random. To visualize this create point at the center of each curve and use the point list component on both of them. The 
next goal is to arrange the order of curves. In other make the curve that are closest to each other will get the same index. Use closest point component, this will gives us the closest point and its index. Next use the list item component. By providing the index we get from the closest point, we can reorder the list to match the first one. Next merge these two list of curves. To visualize data structure connect param viewer. Graft both input. This will make two curves in one branch. Connect to mesh loft component from Commodore's plugin. This will create loft from curves that have the same branch. Now the loft is a bit weird. This is caused by some of the sigma directions being flipped or the list direction reversed. So we can recreate these curves. First, we extract each vertex and use sort of long curve component. For sorting curve we can create circle from the center of the curves. In this case, all boundary edges are planar. So by connecting this planar component, we can get planes that are parallelly placed to these closed curves. Next, create a circle on these planes and connect it to the curve input of sort along curve component. Before connecting it, let's check data structure. In the first one, we have seven branches and four items in each. In the second one, we have one branch and seven items. So graph the circles. This will give us a data structure of seven branches and one item in each. This means each circle in this list will match every four vertices. Now create a power line from these sorted points and replace the previous one with it. Do the same process on other set of list by copying and paste. Set close to true by inverting the boolean. Now everything is perfect, let's join these meshes to the previous one. Join and wheel from Weaver Birds plugin. Flatten the input to join all meshes in one. The next goal is smoothing this mesh. You can use the kangaroo's physics mesh relaxation process, but in this video, we use Weaver Bird's Laplacian smoothing. For smooth naked edge, set it to zero. This means all naked edges will stay remains. We can control the smoothing iteration by connecting number sliders to level. Let's add subdivision to the mesh before smoothing. This will help the mesh to maintain its main form. Use Weaverbird's Catmull Clark component to add subdivision on the mesh. For smooth naked edge set it to zero. This means the edges will not collapse.
Finally, you can convert these mesh into sub D for better manipulation and more smoother result. As you see in the reference picture, all polygon and will not collapse, so we need to add holding edge here. It's easy simply done by scaling the rectangle at its center and merge it back. Here is the final result. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.